Hey Floss Tube, this is Amy. I love toads um, and cross stitch. This is Floss Tube 75 because I just looked and it is December the 1st, 2021. I did my last Floss Tube on November the 1st, so I figured it was time to do one. I pre recorded, pre recorded my finishes yesterday. So one is right there, my moraine leg, I framed that. And then I finished my son's stocking right there. It's hanging by my daughter's stocking. So I will put that video in right here. Hey Floss Tube. I am going to show my finishes. I have four. I'm going to film this today and then I'm gonna gather stuff and film a regular floss tube tomorrow and I'll combine them together so it'll be easier. So I might be wearing the same sweatshirt because it's my new favorite sweatshirt. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I have four finishes and here is one. So this is the ornament that I stitched for my son. It was a kit and I got it off of mybobbin.com. I have not finished the back yet. And these are for my four kids. So this is for my son. This is for his girlfriend. because She's uh, in college for photography, cinematography and pho photography. And I haven't done anything to the back piece yet. And then this one is for my daughter, the taco. And this one is for her boyfriend which is the pizza. And I'm going to be putting magnets on the back of these so they can put them on their refrigerators. I think they turned out so cute, so cute. So I just gotta cut out the magnets and stick them on the back. And they are done on a plastic, not paper, it's, it's some kind of plastic that came with the kit. Let's see, next, I finished, you serious, Clark? I love Christmas movies, just love, love, love Christmas movies. My daughter came home for Thanksgiving and we watched three Christmas movies maybe? I introduced her to Christmas in Connecticut. Okay. And then my husband bought me this. I painted it a little, um, I did a repaint on it. So this will sit on the shelf and then Eddie's, cousin Eddie's RV will sit beside it. I got this pattern on Etsy and I think I stitched it on a 40 count Bramble by Picture This Plus. And then just stuck it on some kind of board from Hobby Lobby. And that is on my little shelf up there. Okay, let's see. Next. You probably saw, y'all all know that I finished the stocking. So that lantern I changed to green. Because we're more green. It's on like a like a Coleman lantern green or a Boy Scout green. And I used Vanna Pfeiffer's tutorial. I watched it. And so turned it into the stocking. So it's my son. So my daughter's, I don't know if you can see, my daughter's is right there. And then here is my son's and I'm working on mine. So it turned out perfect. Thank you, Vanna. I just put some holly on the back. Hers has holly on the back too. Um, it's lined with white. And I don't, right now I'm not gonna put any trim on it. It's just gonna be plain, so. I absolutely love it. And then the fourth finish for FFO is my moraine lake i finally bought a frame for it um, 
Um, I think it's an eight by eight and I stuck it in there. And I believe this frame was from Hobby Lobby also. So I love this. It's downstairs right now because I just want to look at it. So that's it. Um, tomorrow I will try to gather everything up and film a regular floss too for y'all. Okay? Okay. So, um, bringing all my whips over, I drop them. So I just, I pick them up and they are in no order at all. I did not have any new starts and you just saw my finishes, which was the dinosaur, the plesiosaurus, and I had a finish for now, which you'll see. And then I FFO'd the stocking, my Moraine Lake, and my um, You Serious Clark. So all the rest are just all whips. So we're gonna get started. No rhyme or reason. Okay. I worked on the Pilgrim from Long Dog Sampler. I try to work on this once a month. I think I did work on it a little bit last month and I worked on it this month, which is October and November, um, around the 27th through the 29th. So one of those days I try to work on it. This is stitched on r, &R fabric, 36 count, chamomile tea. And I'm going to put in before pictures over my face because that's just easier and I'm going to show it up close and then I'll pull it back and show you the before so you can see I'm going to show you what I worked on though okay so what I did was this right here I think that little man is that a flamingo the flamingo and these words right here I think that's it so so you'll be able to see so that is where the area I worked on this little spider right here he's the middle so you'll see that I am right about at the middle and maybe in a little bit over let me go back. It's so big. Yep, so I will put the before in. <laughs> and you can tell at the top that that has changed. So I didn't finish the flamingo, but I've started on him. Yep, it's so cool and it's so big. The floss I am using is DMC 3363 and I did change this was a crown and a tassel and I changed it to a flower so he will go away till probably December the 27th 28th but when I pull it out I do enjoy working on it very very much I've already started trying to figure out which pattern is going to be my next long dog. I have two that I really, really like, but I know it's going to probably be another two years before I even finish this one, so I will not be getting it until I finish that. Next is one of my full coverages. This is from Artisy. It's called Tender Moments. I'll put a picture in of what it's gonna look like. And if you can see the mama bear's ear, I've, I went over a little bit and stitched on her ear so you can kind of see where she is going to end up. So this is where I am at. You can see the leaves and the tree, that texture in the tree. It's very confetti heavy, but it's very fun to do. And I went ahead and stitched over. So that is the top of the mama bear's ear. 
So she'll start showing up here in a little while. But this is going away for a little while because <laughs> I'm going to be bringing out my mini top frog again. That's 25 count, one over one, full cross. This is a Dimensions kit. It's a gold collection, so it has blends and half stitches and metallic. Stitching with four threads, craziness. Um, I'm stitching this with Colette, the Highway Stitcher. We work on this on Sundays. It's called the Enchanted Ornaments Stocking. Um, and I'm up here. Colette was right here and she's going up a bit. I'm using all the kit stuff. Kit fabric, kit floss. This is an Ada. I'll do my before. And we have red berries. I don't think I had red berries last time I showed this. So you'll be able to see yeah and I've started back stitching that chain onto the ornament so that will one day hang up there which will be amazing Throw that all back in there. Okay, let's see, what is next? I worked a bit on my, okay, it's Ruby Throated Hummingbird Escornist by the Crossed Wing Collection. I think this is my third Escornist. This is on a 20, Five, no, 28 count. I'm not sure what it is, but it is 28 count. So you do two over two, and then when you get to the eggs, you do one over one. So the whole bottom half of the nest is done. And you can probably hear my dryer. My dryer just turned off, so you can probably hear me better now. Um, and then that's the top with the eggs. I have not started the eggs yet. Just trying to get that background filled in first before I start the eggs. Uh, this is a kit by Thea Governor or Tia Governor. So I'm using all the kit floss, but I changed the fabric. Diana, it is Kismet, gave me this. The fabric I'm using is Fog 36 Count. Picture this plus. So we have butterflies started. I don't know if I worked on more of the leaves, but I wanted to get some of the butterfly done. Okay, this one is Cottage Garden Samplings, October 31st. And I worked a bit more on this, but it's going away, I think, for a little while until next fall. We'll see. <laughs> I love it. I am I might be called to put it, pull it out again, but um, right now I just want to stitch winter and Christmas, and this seems like this is very fallish to me. So that is where I'm at. This is one of my Be Stitch Me fabrics of the month. 
Um, I know it's a 36 count. Let's see. Oh, I wrote it on here. After the harvest. And I'm leaving the border off. So that border. And I'm probably not putting October 31st either. I just want the pumpkin and the raven. This is my oldest whip. Hold on, I need a drink, hold on. <laughs> mm. This is Smoky Mountain Christmas. I think I am officially in the middle now and Santa has a face. I'm stitching this on 36 count, just white linen. And there it is. I'm gonna pull it back so you can get the before. So yeah, hold on. We will pull it back so you can see where I was. All the sky is half stitches. So it's not too bad. It's just time consuming. <laughs> but isn't it beautiful? I love their faces, how their faces turned out. He's got little glasses on. And oh, his quilted jacket, I changed the red to blue. Because uh, I don't have much red in my house so there's some quilted red in there and I just switched it to blue and this might be going away now too because I want to work on my other Christmas piece which is my um, 12 days of Christmas but it is the woodland with all the animals I want to work on that again so this might be going away and I'll work on that one for um, December okay. this is a gold collection dim dimensions kit but it is a petite and I'm using all the kit floss and the kit fabric and I stopped right in mid frog. So <laughs> you see my floss hanging off the frog and this is where I'm at. It's so cute. Doesn't even have back stitching yet. So cute. So I have two needles on my needle minder um, one is when I stitch with two threads and then all these dimensions kits, especially the gold, they have you stitch with four and five threads over one and I need my eye to be bigger. So I have a 28 needle on there and a 24 needle on there. And depending on how many threads I am stitching with is what, what needle I use because I would rather use a 28 it just feels better to me but sometimes I cannot get four flosses through the eye of a 28 needle so I have to use like a 24. I hope that made sense. This is the one I am stitching for my daughter. It's a RTO kit. My husband bought it for me for thanks, no, not Thanksgiving, uh, Valentine's Day this year. My daughter loves cats and she loves books. She's going back to school to get her master's in library science. I'm using all the kit, did I say that already? I am using all the kit stuff. Kit fabric, kit floss. And this looks like her cat whose name is Pickle. 
So um, it's very confetti heavy, but that makes it look so good. So hopefully you can see it well. stitched on a lot in a month so <laughs> this is my sunset it's an old like vintage kit so it is called giants of the sea this is my unicorn I'm using the flaws but I'm not using the fabric I used uh, luminous fiber arts her fabric and this is called I think snow days and it's 32 count I'm doing two over two and it has lots of blends and this is where I am at let's see and this is mostly full coverage except for the top so it's already looking like an orca Looks so good. So, yeah, only that top sky is the um, part that's not stitched. I think I'm already starting to lose my sun sunlight, so it's getting a little bit dim here. to put back as I go or I will have a huge mess. This one is my finish for now. It is almost done. This is my, let's see, what is it called? Woodland Sow by Lakeside Needle Arts. The design is by Doreen Jones and I finished the fox. So in December, I will do the hedgehog. So I've done an animal a month. This is on Valor. Picture this plus. It's on 36 count. I'm doing it one over two. And let's see. Let me take the needle minder off. And here it is. So just the hedgehog to do and it will be done. It's turned out so great. I love it. So I will start working on that in a few days. Okay, another full coverage, let's see. Oh, this is my mini top frog. This is the one that is going back on the Q-snap today. And here she is. I don't know if, I don't know if I had any more done on it. Maybe, I might, I might. I mean, you'll see from the before, but. So this is from Heaven and Art Designs. The artwork is by Jody Bergsma. I'm doing it one over one full cross. And it's a mini. And I'm trying to finish it by December next year, 2022. So it's almost done. So yeah, we'll put that right there because it's going back on the Q-snap. And then I have, let's see, two more left, which I left one over there because I was stitching on it this morning, so I'll get up and get it in a second. This is another full coverage I pulled out last, that's the last two weeks I think I was stitching on this one. 
This is my Eight of Pentacles. It's by Stephanie Law. It is a heaven and earth. Same 25 count, one over one, full cross. And you can see the web coming out and the web is crinic. So the web sparkles. It's so cool in person. So here it is. And I'll put a picture in of yeah, what it's supposed to look like and then the before. So this is going away for a little while because it got a bunch of work on it. And then I will go over there and grab my last one that I completely forgot to bring over here. Hold on. Okay. It was still in my hoop, so I had to take it out of my hoop. So when I Zoom with my Texas girls on Tuesdays, I like to um, stitch on a sampler sometimes. And I went to go pull out my Liza Bell Cox and I accidentally pulled out my Sarah Elizabeth Brooke and I hadn't worked on her in so long. So I was like, hmm, I'll just work on her because I love that brick house. So this is from the Scarlet House. This was one of my unicorns. Um, stitching this on Vintage Light Exemplar by Lakeside Linen and it is a 40 count. And I don't even think I have a before of this because it's been so long since I worked on it. I am using the silks, um, which I am buying little by little. I don't have them all, but this is where I'm at. And my lighting is awful. Wow, my, it got dark, y'all. I think it might rain. I'm sorry. So, but that is where I'm at. So I am, where am I? I've done that tree and the brown part of that and I was working on the tail of that bird. And then so I've done a little bit of this and a little bit of that, of the border. So she'll go away for a little while. And let me show you my glosses. I do need some more. So I buy them little by little because they are Belle Soir. And they're beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Like, I love the muted colors. The browns and greens. Um, This sampler does have a bright pink in it I think and I want to change that pink so um, I don't know what I'm gonna change it to yet but I, I won't be stitching pink so, and I think that's it that's my whips so hold on and I will get a little bit more stuff okay I turned the light on is it better I think you can see better I should have done that like 10 minutes ago um, I want to thank two people for buying me a coffee. Uh, Kelsey and Ruth, thank you so much. And I got some stitchy kindness. I got a gift from uh, Pam. From Y'all all know Pam. Everybody knows Pam and Steph from um, Just Keep Stitching. She reached out to me and asked me if I wanted this kit. I said, of course I do, because I love insects. But I just thought it was the pattern. It's the full kit. So it's got the, the fabric, even some metallic thread and floss. So love that. Thank you, Pam. Um, and then I'm going to show you my haul. I am starting my Sharks to think of what they're called what are they called uh wish you were here and they are by artisy artisy um and i'll put a picture in i'm going to start those on my birthday in february so i'm not going to do no new starts i was but i think i'm going to do one start a month 
and I already have my January start picked out and my February start picked out. So I'm going to start my Wish You Were Here Sharks in February. So I went ahead and bought my fabric. It's going to be little. It's just a little one because I want to make it a pillow for our bus. And I started, I had some of the floss, but I started purchasing the floss for that. So the ones on Bob and Bobbins I already had. So I had to buy some floss. So that is ready to go in February. And then in, no, in January. No, yeah, February. February on my birthday, I'm going to start that. And then in January, um, I think her name is Christine from Calico. She mentioned she wanted to start this kit, and I've been eyeballing this kit. So it gave me a good reason to get it. And I'm going to start this from Riolis on January the 1st with um, Calico. And she mentioned somebody else is starting it too. I am not going to use the Ada in it, but I am going to, of course, use the floss in it. Um, so I think I'm going to purchase some just white, 32 white Lugana maybe, or Joblin, something like that, to stitch this on. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. So I got that when I got the fabric for my sharks and the, some of the floss for my sharks. And then um, all the Black Friday sales, the Cross Stitch Studio, which I've never purchased a full coverage from them. They had a sale and I've had this pattern in my wish list for a while. And so I just went ahead and grabbed it because it was on sale. Um, and I'll put it here. Yeah. I lo I'm loving full coverage. So it is called Chubby Cheeks, I think. Isn't it adorable? It's so cute. So um, those are my only purchases for November. So that is it, I believe. Yep. Okay, y'all. So my plans are stitch a little bit of Christmas and get ready for my January start, which will be the Blue Jays. And I'm thinking of doing the dinosaur, Dino December, which I have my dinosaur pattern. I just haven't started it yet. And I'm going to try to do just one new start a month in 2022. We'll see how that goes. Um, I may do a whip parade in January. So, and since I did a video on November the 1st, I did a video on December the 1st, maybe I'll just try to do my videos on the 1st of every month. We'll see. Okay, I'm going. I love you guys. Bye.